Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sarl van Grenen, a.k.a. Mr. VG, and I am excited to actually be on this journey with you. I encourage you to dig deep into this chapter because it's an easy 10% of your question paper if you know what you're doing. So today's video is specifically about home loans or present value annuities and it is all about practicing how do I calculate X and how do I calculate the total values, interest, those wonderful concepts that's part of financial mathematics. So if you haven't watched the previous videos, go and watch them and let's dive into a wonderful example that comes from the 2018 Department of Basic Education Paper 1. Question 7.2 asks, Tepo takes out a home loan over 20 years to buy a house that costs 1.5 million. Calculate the monthly installment if interest is charged at 10.5% per annum compounded monthly. As you would have seen in the decision tree video, it's always important. Are we working with once off payments or annuities? Well, here the secret is looking at the word monthly installments. Well, monthly installments means that we are going to pay off periodically. When you pay off periodically, that's an annuity. But the other big question is then, when do I want to receive the payout? So do I want the payout at the beginning or at the end? Well, I want to receive the money now so that I pay off the seller or the TEPO pays off the seller. So in other words, at the beginning, which means I'm going to work with a present value annuity. Guys, gals, please make sure that you write out the right formula every time. Because if I use the future value formula, that gives me one out of four as a maximum for this. So... Let's analyze the number of payments in is there's going to be 240 payments. Your 1.5 million is your P, while your I is 10,5% over 12. I don't worry about actually calculating that, but I know some teachers are, you know, they are really, really, really strict on saying percentage is not a number. It is a concept or a principle, so you've got to calculate it. Please follow what your teacher says, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to substitute that I directly like that into the formula. So because I've got monthly installments compounded monthly, and I substitute into my formula, it leaves me with an interesting question. What if... They said calculate a monthly installments, but your interest rate is compounded quarterly. So instead of saying monthly, they said quarterly. What now? Well, then actually what you should have then done is you should have calculated your interest rate from quarterly to monthly by using the effective interest rate formula that you were taught in grade 11. But I'm not going to look at that because that actually becomes advanced mathematics or further study mathematics, your AP maths. So that's not going to happen in your curriculum. But if you see it in a textbook, just know that's a, another actual component Another difficult sum then, a very difficult sum. But for us, we are just going to look at monthly and monthly. So your monthly installments compounded monthly. For me to now calculate X, your monthly installments, I'm going to calculate that whole back part. That whole back part first. So I am going to calculate... 1 minus 1 plus, and that whole back part. 
put it in my calculator and the answer I get is 100,16 dot dot dot. Now don't round off at all. Then, after I have then, you know, calculated that, I'm just going to divide away by that 100,16 that's still in my calculator. And my answer is 14,975,70 rand per month. I know this is the end of the question, but I do want you to, to analyze what this means. And this is kind of where I want to take it a step further than your teacher usually would take it in the class. If your teacher does, man, then I'm so happy for you. But what happens in this situation is the loan amount is actually 1.5 million. Think about that. So you loan 1.5 to buy the house. But now my total repayments or all of my installments, I'm going to pay 14975,80 times by 240. That gives me 3594,92. I made a silly mistake. As you might see that. Why did I use comma 80 there? Actually, the right answer is 70. But that makes actually a huge difference in the sum. That back 192 is actually 168. So if I now look at what happens is you make... 3.59 million rands worth of repayments on a 1.5 million house. All the rest on to, from 1.5 million to there is all just interest. So the total interest that you actually repay, if I look at this very easily, if I subtract them, I'm going to get 2,094,168 rands worth of interest. That is literally all of the, um, it's more than 1.5 million rand. It's more than 2 million rands worth of interest that the bank gets for actually just lending you the money. It is insane how much money they make. Ladies and gents, please understand before you get into the world out there, the bank is only worried about its bottom line, not what's best for you, only to make as much money out of you as possible. That's why they actually nowadays, you are lucky if you are getting a full home loan that repays over 20 years. They want you to repay over 25 or even 30 years to make as much interest out of you as possible. But let me finish off this video and say, please sign in for our next video in this series. where We're going to dive deeper and deeper and deeper into annuities and all the different questions we can ask. This is me, G Mr. This is me, Mr. VG, signing out. Have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day. Keep well. Cheers.